Okay, a lot of times you can use Venn diagrams to actually answer questions like, we're given 66 people drink coffee, 34 eat donuts, 19 actually drink coffee and eat donuts. So what if I just want to know how many only drink coffee? And you might think it's at 66, but it's not. So that's what a Venn diagram can do for you is I can set this up and say, we'll just use C for coffee and D for donuts. And then the first thing I would do is take the intersection of the drink coffee and eat donuts. And this is why I said just drinks coffee is not the 66 because you have to be careful. You have, you've already taken 19 of those out. So 66 minus the 19 would be the leftover. So only 47 would actually drink coffee. And then if I want to know how many only eat donuts, well, 34, but 19 have been taken out from the intersection. So 34 minus the 19 would give me 15. Now, if you add these up, so if you take these three values and you add them all up, you get 81. And you should be skeptical because we were given this. So if I take 110 minus 81 and that gives me 29, well, what's that number? Well, then that would be the people that don't drink coffee or eat donuts. So as you can see, these Venn diagrams are pretty cool to be able to answer questions, but you have to have this understanding of the intersect that they do both and then remember to subtract those values out when you're doing the outside of the intersection.